So I've rearranged my rack. Uh, I've put the uh, Keithley in here and uh, moved my power meter up. Uh, the new uh, 10 amp power supply, which I know will get used. So everything here is, is now going to get use. Um, that's my uh, 80, 8921. So um, what I removed out of the rack was the um, chopper stabilized amplifier, the uh, lock-in amplifier, which I have zero use for. And uh, I tried to sell it, and it's too old. Nobody wants that vintage of a... Uh, of a lock and amp. So uh, I'm going to get rid of that thing. The other thing that was in here was a switcher, a relay switcher, and I've got a couple of those and they never get any use in my lab. And they're, they're really, really, really dirt cheap because nobody wants those things. And everybody who puts them out onto uh, junk sites and stuff, they don't get any money at all. So I'll probably scrap that thing. Um, today I'm going to scrap the, uh, I'm going to scrap the uh, lock and amplifier. So it's uh, so over here, it's a nice one, it's an EGG. So it was nice in its day, but it's just too old. And nobody wants it anymore. So I'm just gonna tear it down. So it's mine, I get to do what I want. Okay, let's see here. I've got some tools of, uh, tools of destruction here. And uh, I think, I'll start by taking out some screws here. Oh, geez. Oh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. I always stick them off in the right direction. Lefty Lucy, right? It's hard to tell though with these uh, impact drivers. It gets you in trouble. I'll save these uh, rack tabs, rack mounting uh, brackets. I got a bunch of them, but I save them anyway. Oh, save those. Don't need the screws. Get rid of those. I got too many screws. All right. So the next thing to do is take the screws out of the sides and uh, let's see here. Let me uh, get something to put this all in. And uh, let's see here. Take the power cord off. Snip. I always save power cords. Have a big box. A big box of power cords. Okay. Now there is a void sticker here. So there's probably a screw under, I would imagine. I can't, I can't feel it. Oh yeah, there's a screw there. Oh, come on. There we go. Well, it came out part way. That's a tiny little screw. Oh, I stripped it out. Oh well. Wanted, anybody wanted to see inside of a uh, oh, this screw is going to get me into trouble. This one here. Uh, I do need to take that out. So do you think we'll see a, a microprocessor in here? I don't think so. I think this is going to be all, all analog circuitry. 
has a date on it right here, February of 1984. So yeah, it's pretty vintage. So why people don't want it, I don't know. There we go. Finally got that off. All right. So. Oh, Shiz is making all kinds of noise in the in the video. Oh well. Oh, there's another one here. Damn it. Darn it. <laughs> Dag nabbit. I was listening to a YouTuber uh, talk about Appalachian expletives. <laughs> uh, thunderacious. And uh, that was a good one. And. Uh, then people left comments on what their favorites were. One was uh, Lord Like a Duck, which I just thought was great. Lord Like a Duck. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Uh, so this says reference board, phase frequency detector. Uh, I've got little wires here to go to the next board. And the next board has a transformer. No, that goes over here. So this one says, doesn't say anything. This is the uh, time constant. So it just switches, it. this board just basically switches out really, really expensive uh, capacitors. <laughs> That's all it does. Uh, and there's a buff, some buffering in it. And then uh, over here, we got your, uh, got your power supply over there, a meter and look, looks like there might be something really, really interesting under this double shield. That's the input. So there's probably some nice op amp down over yonder. How's that? Um, yeah. And the power supply is just uh, some three terminal regulators here on a, on the side of the chassis. Minus 15, plus 15, and my uh, plus 5. So yeah, standard, standard, standard stuff. Socketed though. I've never seen that before. Socketed. Nice. So I can save those. Uh, some nice capacitors. Sprague. 1984 though. They do have a 1981 date code on them. Yikes. <laughs> Maybe those go in the trash can. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, I'd like to see what the little op amps and stuff are though. So let's... Uh, Let's go through this board by board, but in order to do that, we need to take the boards out. So let's do that. No more boards. Oh. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> that was a good one. I can't remember all of them though. Some of them were definitely not uh, not only Appalachian, I'd heard the, heard many of them before, so they're just old timey. Maybe there's a time warp to Appalachia, which is probably true. I grew up in a, a very small town up in Northern California. We used to call it behind the Redwood Curtain because um, things were about a decade behind everything else. So I understand where they're coming from. So, oh, this board comes out. Okay. Okay. So we just need to pull the wires off of it and it'll remove itself. Look at that. Nice. Let's just pull those off. Okay. So we've got one board out. We'll take a look at that. And I thought this was two boards, but this is one big giganto board. Giganto. <laughs> 
There's a, a, je a woman's gene called Gian Gianto, or I forget what. I forget, it's an Italian brand, and uh, <laughs> there used to be a woman that wore them, and <laughs> this one guy would always razz her, got your Giganto jeans on. <laughs> yeah. Politically incorrect, but those were the days. Those were the days when you could get, get away with being a real person and talk real stuff. <laughs> Oh, there's some good stories. Yeah, I could save those up for another build. There was definitely maybe maybe I can't tell that. Maybe I can't tell that story. Yeah, I probably can't. Uh, never mind. You didn't hear me say that. I can't tell that story. It would be it would be in bad taste. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint of the story. I can't tell the story, but I'll give you a hint. Um, there was a a lot of you know, mom-aged uh, women who worked, and um, we were always hiring young kids out of college for the engineering, and then the the. Uh, the ladies were doing the production work, like, and they were like the projection managers and stuff, right? They were supervising other. Unfortunately, back then it was it was women supervising women, right? It was just very sexist. Uh, the women had the assembly jobs, and the men had the engineering jobs. Although there were there were some uh, female engineers as well, but for for a large part, it was male oriented. But um, let's see here. How's this come out? Hmm. I think I need to take those out. Um, there was a a young a young engineer who'd just been hired, and one of the one of the lady supervisors discovered that he was a virgin, and she said, "Whoa, we're going to have to fix that." <laughs> And they disappeared for a while and came back. Oh dear. Those are the days. Those were the days. Okay. Sounds like a Seinfeld episode. Was it George Costanza doing things at work he shouldn't have been doing? Oh, get this apart. Is it that thing? Oh, that loosened it up a little bit. It's still kind of tight up down here, though, somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so we got the uh, board out. Uh, this this board is just giant. You know, it's like 14 inches by 18 inches. It's just giant. Um, so this is the input section here. This is the power supply section over here. So the input section had two shields, one on the top, one on the bottom. So this is the input section again. Um, and it comes into a little controlled area here, very expensive relay here, to swap probably to do zero grounding. And then um, there's a funny little package here that's got six, leg, six legs on it. That's, this is probably a matched, a matched FET. So this is probably a homebrew differential amplifier. And uh, this, the, probably this whole section is just to get the most out of it. And then we have a uh, generic op amp here, probably for an offset or something. Uh, an any 531. And these are 531, 530, yeah, so these are just generic op amps. And then down here at the, at the other end is just some switching. So this is the big uh, uh, selector here that, that runs down to switch these two things. So resistors and capacitor. Resistors and resistors. And um, so the power supply, this is where those three three terminal regulators went here. Here's a little bridge rectifier. So not, not very high current, little tiny little guy. These seemed very popular back in the day in 1983. Um, there's a 24 volt reference here. So you had 
plus minus 15, plus 5, and plus 24. Uh, they're regulated plus 24 for something interesting. Uh, so those are all nice. And then some more thing here. This says final AC amplifier. So just a little AC amplifier. Uh, national parts, 83, 84. No, 301s. These are 301s. Um, a 741. Can't get any more generic than a 741. And then over here we have some kind of like arranging the stuff. Oh, this is the one that, that uh, swap, swapped in and out these really expensive capacitors here. Uh, very nice ones. I'll save those. I don't think I'll save these capacitors. 1981. Yeah, I don't... Mm, 3600. <laughs> 3600, these are giant. All right, 3600s are like that big now. Okay, and then we have the final board, which is the reference board. Not final board, but... You have the two things coming in. You have the input and you have the reference, and this, this just kind of massaged the reference. So nothing nothing special over on this end. It's just kind of making sure that it's phased and everything. So it says Schmidt trigger here. Uh, yeah, high frequency phase, so just a regular filter, phase frequency detector, reference unlock. Yeah, this is all just really, really generic stuff. Nice little test point here for the voltages, plus 5, plus minus 15, plus 15 ground. Yeah, just a nice little board. Nothing has solder mask. Everything is just tin lead. Back in the day, this is right about when I started working. So this is how things used to be. The things that we were told. Yep. Anyway. Uh, so... Yeah, boring, boring, boring. There's a nice mica capacitor. There's a few things to save off these boards. Oh, and uh, transformer. That's nice. Transformer's worth saving. Teco Corporation, New Hampshire. All the way from New Hampshire. Very nice. And some nice uh, Allen Bradley. Everything was Allen Bradley. I think the only people making potentiometers back then. So a nice Allen Bradley Type J. Uh, and then even a better one. This one has ball bearings on the back. I like the ones with the ball bearings that are nice and smooth. So this is a, a, a 10 turn. Very cool. Planetary gearing with ball bearings. Yeah, there we go. And the meter. Save the meter. I don't know how many uh, microamps, but it's a plus and minus meter, which is nice. So, very cool. Well, there you go. So that uh, bought me some space in my rack, and uh, I can uh, send the aluminum to the recycler and save a few parts off the boards. There you go.